Microsite hyperchromic anemia also. There is only one principle that you need to know that involves all microcyte hypochromic anemia, wherever it occurs, whenever it occurs, it occurs due to only one reason. And that reason is that due to some defect in the hemoglobin production. So it's like this that I want to put some content in the bag. That content is hemoglobin. So when I don't have enough content, I cannot produce enough hemoglobin. The body thinks that there's no sense it does not make any sense to make a very normal size bag so the bag size shrinks because there is not enough content inside the bag so when the bag size shrinks the cell become micro small side cell it is called microcytic rbc and also as there is less hemoglobin inside that cell the cell becomes less red colored because who gives red color to the rbc red blood cell that is hemoglobin it's a pigment so when there is less Hemoglobin inside the RBC, obviously it would be less stress colored, hypo, less chromic, less red color. So that is the basic principle that all microcytic hyperchromic anemia uh, like identity anemia or thalassemia, the basic problem is some problem in the in the hemoglobin.